Hello guys and welcome back to the Current Creation channel. Uh, today uh, I would like to show you how to turn a wooden pen that is a uh, uh, quite easy project uh, on the late uh, and uh, the result uh, is a, a nice pen that you can uh, give to someone or also sell uh, somewhere. So it's a nice uh, and uh, has a uh, a uh, great uh, effect uh, to the others. Okay, so for example, this pen uh, is made uh, from uh, uh, Paduk and uh, Zibrano. Uh, the pen that uh, we will do today is a um, walnut pen. Okay, uh, it's a, a, a different kit from uh, this one, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, just want to share you how I made the pen and maybe uh, give you some advice. Okay, so let's start. Okay, guys, so what you need to do to make a pen is uh, obviously a piece of uh, wood, a pen kit. There are uh, several types of uh, pen kits, uh, just to choose uh, the one you prefer. You need uh, a set of uh, bushings that uh, will allow you to uh, perfectly um, dimension your uh, pen for the kit you have chosen. Okay, we will use this later. And uh, okay, the most important thing uh, is uh, the pen mandrel. Okay, it's like uh, a sort of uh, jewel here. Okay, okay, so this is a, a pen mandrel, is a, a specific type because uh, uh, it's a compression mandrel. This means that uh, the force uh, applied to the to the uh, pen, maybe to the wood, to keep it uh, position, is not made on uh, the mandrel, but uh, is made uh, on the bushing, so this will prevent uh, the, mandrel, the mandrel from uh, bending. Okay, so it's a nice, uh, nice pen mandrel. Okay, we will use uh, later. So, the first step uh, is to cut uh, the piece of wood uh, to the right dimension right dimension that is given by the dimension of the brass tubes uh, uh, provided uh, with the kit so let me open okay for the moment we just need the brass tubes okay so for this kit uh, we have uh, two brass tubes uh, with different dimensions so we need to take care about dimensioning and after gluing uh, the tube into the wood. Okay, so just uh, try to dimension. Okay, so typically I put uh, here the tube, I take the right sides, giving uh, one millimeter extra okay okay so just remove the okay so We, we have uh, two pieces of uh, wood, one for this uh, brass tube, the other one, maybe just check uh, if uh, there is not so much wood, okay, it's fine, and uh, this is for the smaller one. Okay, next step uh, is uh, drilling a hole into the blank wood 
and after we will glue the brass tubes into the wood by using a um, chan acrylic glue okay so let's uh, move to the lathe to drill the holes okay here on the lathe uh, we will uh, mount uh, the piece of wood here between uh, this uh, specific uh, jaws for holding uh, blank uh, pen blanks or maybe blank uh, with the small dimension maybe this okay we will use uh, uh, the right uh, drill a bit uh, in uh, required for the kit for my kit uh, now is uh, required a seven millimeter drill bit and uh, drill mandrel on the tail stock okay so <coughs> This uh, drill bit uh, is not uh, a high quality drill bit, so uh, I will need to go slower to drill because it has uh, a lot of vibration. Now we are ready to stick uh, and gluing uh, those uh, tubes uh, into the wood in this way, okay? But before I start uh, gluing uh, the tubes, uh, we have to scratch them with a, uh, a piece of uh, sanding paper. Just uh, let me cut a little piece. Because in this way the glue will work better. Okay. And one. And the Okay, in this way um, we can now proceed uh, by gluing the tubes. Uh, don't forget to put uh, some gloves before start preparation because uh, this uh, kind of glue uh, is very strange, so uh, it will be stick to the tubes and to the wood if you don't use. Uh, Gloves. Okay, so always be careful while doing your process. Mm. So, also when you have uh, different uh, size uh, brass tubes, uh, always uh, try to put them near. So, this one is the longer one, so we will put uh, near the piece uh, the longer piece uh, and uh, the shorter one near the short one just to avoid uh, while gluing uh, to glue the longer into the shorter or uh, vice versa it's already happened and uh, after you have to remove all the wood and start again okay so tubes uh, into the wood, take a pen and move it, okay, so this one, it's okay, let it dry, 
Next one. Always move inside and use a pen to okay to perfectly fit the without leaving uh, too many space uh, on the on one side uh, and uh, less space uh, to the other side because uh, after uh, the glue. Is dry. Uh, okay, so remove this. We will use uh, this uh, drill bit uh, to square the wood uh, with the, the brass tubes. Okay. After this operation, uh, we will uh, be ready to start uh, turning our pen. Okay. So let it dry and uh, see you in. Uh, Hours. Okay, so now with this bit we'll um, we'll trim the brass tube and the wood. Okay, so we insert it here. As you can see, now the tube is perfectly visible from the boot. Now we have uh, tubes uh, perfectly visible and we are ready to turn the pen. So let's move through the lid. Okay, now I removed the, the, the chuck and uh, I will mount the pen mandrel in this way. Okay. We just removed the standard uh, bushings and uh, We'll use uh, the bushings uh, related to the pen kit uh, we have chosen to uh, use for the pen. Okay, so uh, let me think. Okay, this one is for the tip. After we insert the uh, the first blank then we mount the it depends on uh, the pen kit you choose so not all bushings are the same okay next uh, insert uh, okay try to uh, keep the grain of the wood uh, in the way uh, it was before so I always leave uh, the uh, the mark for uh, knowing exactly how uh, the blank uh, has been cut okay? just to uh, make uh, the grain continue 
on uh, both parts of the pen. Okay, next. Close and uh, okay. Just hold tight the Okay. So now we start turning pen and we will use first a roughing gouge just to round the two blanks and after to modeling our pen we will use a spindle gouge. Okay? So let's have uh, shaped our pen uh, being careful that uh, the mm, size of the blank uh, uh, fit perfectly the size of the bushing okay so when we will mount uh, the pen kit uh, we will not have uh, any uh, difference between the diameter of the kit and uh, the diameter of the uh, wood okay now uh, we will start uh, uh, to send, starting from 150 uh, going through 400 grit, we will send all the surface of the pen. Typically it's time to uh, apply uh, a coat of, uh, oh better, uh, three or more coats of uh, chan acrylic glue but before doing this uh, because uh, um, I will have to um, apply the glue uh, perfectly to all the surface of the pen I always remove uh, the bushings and uh, just apply uh, standard bushing uh, because they uh, leave me uh, extra space uh, to apply the glue. Okay, so just remove uh, the pen kit bushing and uh, use uh, the standard one. I have the extra space to uh, apply also the glue on the border. Okay. Just. Okay, so now we have applied three coats of uh, chanocrylic glue and uh, 
we will go now with the, this pad we will go starting from 1500 grit and go through 12,000 grit after uh, uh, sanding by this pad uh, the surface of the pen uh, will be very brilliant okay so Okay, now we are ready to assemble our pen. Uh, so, take the kit. And start with the pen tip. Okay. So we will use uh, this assembly vise. Okay, just After that, uh, we will put the twist mechanism into the pen. Before doing this, uh, because this uh, mechanism uh, should uh, be out of the pen uh, for 2.1 millimeter, we will set uh, this with the caliper. Okay, then try to see how if it's fine, yes, okay. So now start with the top of the pen. Last the ring. Okay. And now the pen is ready. So 
the pan is finished now we have a nice pan made of walnut and uh, that's all so thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing cheers